plus plus or something. And maybe even more. I don't know about that. Basically, you can keep continuing to upgrade your characters and face the same game, but with stronger enemies and everything. It's really cool, and it's great for replayability. Uh, I always have my shield up, just in case. Because you never know. Bingo, humanity. So I'm saving up this humanity in case I lose my humanity. I can... Uh, get back again. How do I? I guess jump attack is my only way of jumping. There's one thing that's kind of a shame with Dark Souls 2 uh, that I saw, and that is if I pre-order it, which I'm gonna do, uh, you get uh, pretty cool bonuses like uh, comics and, and um, soundtrack and blah blah, but you also get like 10 weapons and e equipment. I really don't want to use that. I'm actually thinking about immediately selling those when I have that, because um, I hate it when RPGs... Ah, that's right, that's so sprinting and then depressing me. I hate it when RPGs give you really good equipment from the beginning, and then it kind of, um, you know, loses the point to collect equipment. Fuck. Uh, from from the beginning, since it's all less than those DLC items that you got. Now, obviously, in a game like Dark Souls, you kind of want that difficult experience, so you don't want to be, you know, baby fed so to speak. I mean, it's pretty cool in Dark Souls how you can have, like, one item. They give you one break. You can have, like, uh, the, the, the key, or you can have some bombs, or humanity or something, or souls. They give you one thing that, that you can take along. But ten items is a little bit too much. I dare smoke. Uh-uh. What up? It's funny too, I'm normally kind of a graphics guy, but I don't mind that the new Dark Souls is not a next-gen title at all. I really like the aesthetic style of it. And it looks also, it looks better. I mean, there are better lighting effects and everything. Which is cool. There's a shop here. Eminem enemy uh, here, right? So I forgot what I could use the souls for. I think you can use them to create weapons, right? Not to upgrade, but to create weapons. At blacksmiths. Oh, hello there, boys. Come join the pot A. Look at that. I'm already down to half HP. Pretty impressive. Praise the sun. Hell yeah. Go. Throwing knife. Well, this door is locked, if I'm not mistaken. No, it's not. Never mind. A wooden shield. Okay. Praise the sun. And here's that famous bonfire that I spent lots of hours. Oh. Wait, what? Am I being invaded or what? Why can I not 
enter that. What the hell? Oh, there you go. No, wait, what the fuck? Let me in! How do I... Ah, oh, yeah, like this. Uh-oh. So yeah, I was invaded, as you can see. Um, he bowed. Calcola soup. Listen, I talked to somebody, or no, no I didn't. I, I, the very first time I played this game, I asked, I don't know if there's some sort of like gentleman's agreement where if somebody invades, you first bow or you wave, blah, blah, blah. And some somebody said, no, it doesn't matter, and somebody else said, yeah, you need a bow. Listen, I have my theory about this. With the DLC, a dueling option was introduced. So you could actually do legit PvP without losing stuff, if I'm not mistaken. Um, because of that, in that case, I could see, well, you kind of could bow or wave, kind of like, you know, people in, in boxing matches or UFC fights, tap their uh, knuckles together to kind of show respect. Invading another player's world is kind of rude, even though I also want to do it and stuff. Everybody should do it because it's pretty cool, but, you know, they invade while you are fighting other enemies, so if they're invading your world, hey, you know, you have every right to fucking destroy them without fucking bowing or waving to them. I mean, they try to kill you. They try to steal your souls. You know, there's no no need to play Mr. Nice Guy. And as you can see, his bow was <laughs> was his demise. He's probably like, oh, he didn't fucking bow back, dude. You you invade my world. What do you want from me? You invade my world. You get a blade. But you can see there that I was already invaded in this area, which is purely because there's no front side. Yay. Which is purely what I said. I used to play this game all the time while uploading videos to YouTube. That made my internet connection not very good, so I almost never got invaded. Couldn't call on anyone to help me with bosses. Hello, forgot about you. Ah. Like a firebomb. One thing that I would like to ask, for example, from from you guys uh, who already played it, is what can I do to like to upgrade my um, weapons and stuff? So I obviously like one-handed weapons. My thing is now a plus four. I don't know if I can get it to plus five. I forgot how that whole system works with upgrading it. You need certain um, red red stones or stuff, right, for fire, for example. It also all depends on the blacksmith. Some blacksmith can actually upgrade it, some cannot. Wow, there's so much to this game. How I love it. How I love it. Hello, warrior armor. It's locked, so I didn't get the key. Oh yeah, so this is de for dealing with these two assholes. What's up? <laughs> okay, I cannot, for example, for some reason... 
Hey, listen. Okay, that works. Hmm, I saw something red over there. Don't know if I'm being invaded again. What's that? That's the first time that I've seen that. I did see... Huh. Looks interesting. Uh, it's the same thing... Uh... Oh! That's actually also what I, what I said about the... If they invade your world. If, I didn't know if you, if it was, you were allowed to use, um... Medical items. So I didn't know if I was allowed to replenish my health with Estus flasks if he was winning or not. But you know, you can just do that. I've had invaders do a lot of healing as well. So you know, fuck it. There are no fucking rules when it comes to invading. <sighs> and if you do keep to rules, then well, that can cost you your life. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, shit! They do have impressive damage. I gotta say. I kinda want to face the Black Knight, though I'm a little scared as well. And if you don't know what it is, there's a Black Knight over here. And, yeah, it's a tough, it's a very tough enemy. And the first time that I played this, I angered him, and it was one of the funniest moments, because he followed me all the way back. There's actually a top uh, 10 sort of thing of funny Dark Soul moments that you should maybe watch as well. It's actually in the same series of the Dark Soul Let's Play. Uh, ooh, hey, never mind. Maybe I should have be stealthy. There. Okay. Did I kill him? Nope, not yet. Not yet. I do still have the patterns and everything in my... Oh. And now you're dead. Okay. Well done. Titan Chunk. Yeah, those are the things that you use to upgrade stuff. And you, For elemental stuff, you get like fire or... Red Titan Chunk, Blue Titan Chunk, whatever the fuck. Terrorstone Ring, what the hell does that do? Well, the fence is low, okay. So basically I get double items, like, indeed, so I can sell them. <laughs> Let's see how long have I... I don't have that much space on my... Oh, so a lot. And I disc, but I kind of wanted to start. It's actually pretty funny because I was first kind of disappointed, but Dark Souls 2 comes out right when my, like two days after my last exam is, and I have a month vacation. So, oh my god, Dark Souls, Dark Souls, Dark Souls. I got owned there. Boss ahead. Boss ahead. Oh, and the stone knight is down below. Or is that. Wait, wait, what? Is that not here? Ah, oh, apparently that's. Oh. Well, whatever. Wary of strange creature. Weakness is lightning. That's why it also kind of helps to invest it or invest in magic. But some people are of the opinion that using magic is actually too overpowered in this game. I don't know. I I usually in all the games RPGs I am a mage or something, but this is the exception. Really enough.
Uh, yeah, so I remember kind of what to do there. No. Are you shitting me? Hi there, boys. Try plunging it. Oh yeah, that's what I. That's what you have to do. Basically, he will come. Um, I forgot how to slide. Well, whatever. So basically, he will show up. Then I will run back on top of the ladder, do a plunging attack. Okay, fuck it. I'm not reading the message. Taurus Demon! Get up. That hurt. Pretty bad. <gasps> yeah, bitch! You don't like that, huh? Try amazing weapon. I have amazing weapon. Oh, this is my mighty place where you go down the stone knights there. I know that uh, PewDiePie also did a uh, Dark Souls Let's Play. I didn't see it because I knew um, already then, of course, that because of Dark Souls 2 was coming out, that I wanted to play Dark Souls 1 again, so I didn't want to, you know... I haven't played in a long time, so I forgot some stuff, so I didn't want to get spoiled again. But I'll definitely watch it now, since I... Uh, I've been playing this again. Okay. Praise the sun. Oh. Ah, hello. You don't look hollow. Far from it. I am Soler of Astora, an adherent of the Lord of Sunlight. Now that I am undead, I have come to this great land, the birthplace of Lord Gwyn, to seek my very own son. Do you find that strange? Well, you should. No need to hide your reaction. I get that look all the time. <laughs> Okay. Do I need to talk to you again? Oh, hello there. I will stay behind to gaze at the sun. The sun is a wondrous body, like a magnificent father. If only I could be so grossly incandescent. Hey, uh, Solaire, I will see you when, um, when we fight the gargoyles, alright? <laughs> Wait, how do I do this again? Hello? Oh. Holy shit! What up, Smaug? a way to connect to the bonfire. Here we go. So, kick ladder. Boom. And now... Okay, yeah, I press just B without going down. Okay. Get my things back. I don't think... Hold on, how much do I need to level up? Okay, I just need like 200 more, so I will now actually use... 
some souls. 